Did you see the idiot who photobombed the BAFTAs when the Best Picture Award went to Oppenheimer? No. Yeah. Apparently he does this. He's a YouTuber. They, they wouldn't give his name because they don't want to give him the publicity, but if you look at the shot, he's up there with Chris Nolan and Killian Murphy and the other folks that and Michael J. Fox, who was the presenter, and they got Best Picture at the BAFTAs. And when they asked the other people from the production to get up on stage, this dude from the other side came running up and just stood behind them all and walked off with them when they had the, the security got him the minute he walked off stage. But apparently he does this at award ceremonies, so keep your eyes out at the Oscars. <laughs> Oppenheimer won? Of course it won. It's the BAFTAs. Yeah. British artists first, then anybody. That's what the BAFTAs stand for. British artists first, then anybody. But who was British in that? Just hey, we're back to our two ranks of court. You can follow on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy kind of thing. It's not that that it's undeserving of accolades. I just, I, you would agree with me. I, I'm not of the opinion it's the best film of the year. I mean, I had even seen everything, and there's at minimum two films that I would pick over it. Yeah, I would. As far as for me, the films that I think are the better films of the year that I would watch, I, I would put Oppenheimer in all sincerity. I mean, I can't gauge the technical aspects of Chris Nolan's mastery of the medium, the way directors and editors and cinematographers can. But for me, uh, I liked Barbie. I liked Poor Things. I liked The Holdovers. I liked Nyad. And I liked uh, Killers of the Flower Moon more than I liked Oppenheimer. Yeah. So, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Here we got a um, Aramon live in Chennai. This is... This is not live. This is recorded. Ooh, we'll see, Ooh, we'll see. But it's alive. Got it. Take it easy, we'll see. Hmm. It's probably gonna sound very similar to that. Probably in my nightmares. <laughs> Here we go. It's a lovely synth pad. Oh, I thought you were singing Maracho. Maracho. My number is Corbin and Rick. Yeah. Come on, come on, yeah. Yes. I wish he had a setup like that at the Hollywood Bowl. Yeah, come on, yeah. Ooh, we'll see. Ooh, we'll we'll see. see. Take it easy, food, we'll see. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's the groovy version. Ooh, he went to the pharmacy. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, 
They're freaking tap dancing with their mouth. Your mom was doing that last night. strings. That was nice. None bar. That was very nice. Um, he's obviously, unarguably, possibly the greatest Indian composer of all time. Arguably, obviously, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah there'd and, be and Raja, the, I guess. Probably. And Raja, sir. Um, one of the greatest uh, composers ever in the world, I mm -hmm. think. Um, he's a great singer. One of the worst stage presences. <laughs> <laughs> of anybody not your fault not, it just is what it is he's not a performer that's what i'm performer. saying uh his talent is in his singing and obviously Are his composition and, and like un, out of this worldly <laughs> like you'd think like somebody like with this kind of song has such great create and the way he dresses obviously obviously maybe in, implies that as well yeah but then he's usually just kind yeah. of standing there yeah, no, yeah, the stage presence is like a librarian filing books. It's just, he's just there and he's doing his job. Nothing wrong with it, obviously. No, it's, it, he not, can't help that. It's he's not, not a, a performer. Uh, he's a great artist. Yeah, uh, and, and he is a he's a performer in the same way that a classical player is a performer. They just, they sit down and do their job. Yeah. They're, they're not about the stage presence having anything to do with what they're doing. Yeah. They're just making the music. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's yeah, it's not his fault. Every guitar I see it, I'm like, yeah. he's, he's so great, but then he's like... Not doing anything. <laughs> no. Yeah, and it's you just you can't go in expecting that. You go in you go in to listen when you go to an AR Raymond. And you're gonna get some nice visuals and they'll have some guest artists that yeah. do some things. But yeah. for him, you're just enjoying his his musical mastery. That's obviously one of the one of his great songs, obviously, yeah. I think. Uh, and then that one has Prabhu as well. And so that's has he ever had like Prabhu come out and like dance live for him? I don't know, but that would that things? would blow the house apart. 
It's so, funny, and they're very similar because they are both got to ask both of them the same question about having a creative block in some way. <laughs> and they're both of their responses were, no, what's that? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Wait, somebody's not oozing yeah, creativity I mean, at all? No, times? in fact, if anything, the problem is I can't shut it off. I'll be in bed and I'll get a... I'll get a song or I'll get choreography. Sounds like it. Sounds like it. Yeah, and I got it. Is, they both said it. Says, and I got, he, he probably straight up said, sometimes I got to get out of bed and get the dance out of me before I'll be able to go back to sleep. And a lot of songwriters are that way. I mean, Paul McCartney basically dreamt yesterday. That's why the the greats are the greats. I mean, yeah, they just they function differently yep. in all aspects, obviously. And, and, and if you're great in a certain job, you're just you're meant to do yeah. certain things. Yeah, that's uh, why there's a, there's the, one of the interviews of Michael Jackson by the guy whose name I'm glad I'm forgetting because he was an absolute awful human being to Michael. Um, his but father asked him. No, 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 <laughs> no, but he but he was he was trying to get Michael to explain how he does what he does, whether it's his songwriting or his creating of choreography. And Michael was doing his very best to say, I I, I can't. I just stop trying to. I I can't really explain me do it, doing what I'm doing. I just do yeah. what I do. Yeah. And it was, the questions were basically him saying, perform monkey. Come on, do it for me. Dance monkey. Dance. Write, some, write something for me. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was great. And uh, I do hope I would expect it to be this way. Now, Cause when we hear live things, the, ex the expectation is that it's a live recording and that the, they they did a good job with the recording of it and that nothing was done to alter anything a la Super Bowl halftime show, Alicia Keys. Uh, changing the actual performance to make it sound better. Human human error is a beautiful part of artistry, so leave it alone. Have you been talking this whole time? Yep. Wow. I think I blacked out there. How long were you talking? Pretty long time. Oh, it was a nice zen moment for me. Yeah, reminds like, me of school. Didn't hear yourself. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, that was great. I'm surprised we hadn't seen them before. I am, I am too. Watch, we have. No, I, no it way. It doesn't, it doesn't ring. Doesn't ring, does of, not look, but I would have remembered. The video doesn't ring about. No, nor does the guy saying, you know, talking in and out. Hey, B. Hey. <laughs> How you doing tonight? <laughs> um, and then them doing the tap dance of the. Yeah, the little no, no, no. that was fantastic. And then the, the strings, man. The strings were sexy. Mm, that was great. Let us know what other videos we can react to down below. Just